welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. Your Sambo Seraphis, and joining us as always is Tallahassee of the Storm. Good evening, young man. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. Enjoying Iron Pine Peaks as always. We've got a nice snowstorm going on here. Of course, welcome to you guys watching along from home. You know what, Tallahassee, we had some, well, kind of big news happen this week in terms of a rift. I've got a funny feeling that it's got something to do with your suffix there. In fact, before we go any further, you know what I'm talking about. But is your title just an ironic coincidence or does it have something to do with you know what? It has a bit to do with you know what oh really see hang on firstly will i have one i don't think i will yet will i no not yet because you haven't done something that i've been bugging you to do for a while now <laughs> Cough, cough. That's right. In fact, yes, and do need to get onto that. But look, put us out of our misery there, Mr. Tallahassee. Why are you called Tallahassee of the Storm? And why is that important, especially tonight? Uh, because Storm Legion was released. Woo! That's right, folks. You've probably heard about it. It's been all over the news, all over the Twitters, all over the Facebooks, and of course, all over the official Rift website. That's right. Finally, Tryon Worlds have released Storm Legion. It is their very first expansion to this game and of course it brings so so many things and over the course of our series of course we'll try and get to a lot of it. But I guess the biggest thing in Tallahassee is that we've got what a level cap increase? I know a lot of people ask us that on the show. We're level 50 is the cap now and of course we're not quite there. We're getting close. We're 43 just seven levels away but I understand that Storm Legion brings that even higher. Is that right? Yep, now we go to 60. It goes all the way to 60, past 11 then, a long way past 11. So yeah, I mean look, a recap of all of the features is available on their website and I highly recommend you go over and check it out. But I mean the big, big ticks Tallahassee would be number one, level 60. Number two, I believe there's some soul changes. Are there new ones? There are new souls as well. Um, Excellent. Just having a quick look at mine and you'll probably see a weird colour change going on, though I can remember what the hell it is. Oh, well, you know what, you've just, you um, just went on fire, <laughs> if that's what you mean. Yeah, my new soul is called Tempest, and I haven't had a play with it yet. Oh, hang on, so you, you're not on it now then? No. No, okay. Look, I haven't, I haven't obviously had a good play with anything yet either, because I'm still to set up mine. Oh, I wish for more hours in the week. But I'm sure those of you who are playing along from home and that have got the expansion, and I'm guessing that's the vast majority of you, you'll know all about your new souls. There's a new level cap. Tallahassee, there are a whole bunch of new pieces of content in the game. I mean, we're talking about raids, we're talking about instances. I mean, let's not forget the fact that Dead Side Simon and Elra showed us the map. Now, if I open up my map right now, let's have a look. Here we are, Iron Pine Peak. If I zoom out, hmm, so I'm just seeing the normal continent. Is that because I haven't configured the expansion yet, or can I zoom out even further? No, you can't zoom out anymore. Um, actually, there is a button that does say show entire world, but it only shows this world. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Show entire world. Oh, okay. So, look, you have configured the expansion, but you can't see any of it yet. Maybe it only opens up when you go to the new continents, perhaps. You know, and of course, we I think, know. I think it only does. Yeah, and we know for a fact that, there we go, Crucius Temple. You guys know from our last jaunt around there when we got, well, what can we say, warped over by Elra and Dead Simon into the continent of of the new expansion that is where it all happens that's where the event is and that's how through the chancel of labors and crucius temple there that is where you need to go if you want to head over into the new lands and of course you can go back a couple of episodes if you'd like to see a lot of that content we're very grateful to dead simon and elra for showing us all of that it was absolutely amazing and i don't know about you tallahassee but i'd like to offer a huge big congratulations to everyone at tryon worlds obviously for the successful launch of what can only be described as an episode epic expansion there is i don't know have you actually tried to read the list of new features i did try and it was a lot of them so yeah. i gave up <laughs> yeah there's, there's just like way too many it's absolutely unbelievable i mean you think there's enough content in the game as it is folks it is beyond uh, just look go and have a look again on the website you'll see tons and tons of information there and of course if you have been having a break from rift i highly recommend if you especially if you've got level 50s you come back now grab the expansion it's very very cheap and you know what you're going to have a ton 
ton of content to keep you busy for a very, very long time. But speaking of content, Telas, if I ever look at the map, uh, I can see that we, up here, we've got a couple of quests to hand in, up in Whitefall and Sanctuary, and we'll do that very, very shortly. But I understand, before we go any further, just very quickly, I know that you've got the Collector's Edition, I think, of the new expansion. Is that right? I do. Hang on, I'll just drop the mailbox and then... Yeah, because... Oh, there you go. Mail. oh, there's a mailbox. Fantastic. So, because you got the digital collector's edition, does that mean you got some goodies in the mail? I did. Oh, oh, oh. Is there anything that you can show us before we head on out questing? Uh, yes, there is. Just bear with me. So, first one, cape. Oh, oh, that's right. Capes, of course. Capes are new in the game. Hang on, let's, uh, I'm just going to move forward so that we can zoom right. Oh, now it looks like a black void to me. Now, is that because I don't have the expansion yet? Or is that what it's meant to look like? Uh, you no it's actually a proper cape and right so yeah you go buy that expansion yeah for once. Well, listen to me for once <laughs> for one what do you reckon folks do i listen to tell out of course we do i've just simply run out of time but i will absolutely be getting it actually hang on if i inspect you if i right click on you and inspect oh look at that we've made friends um let's see how so, rude look at that storm warden's cape you know what, in all of my screens, it's just showing... Well, look, we are seeing the cape, but it's just showing as plain black. Is it black for you? How metal? No, it's not. It's actually uh, white blue with an insignia on it. Oh, okay. Well, that's very interesting. Yes, I like that. Very metal indeed. I wonder why that is. You'd think, even though I don't have the expansion, that we'd still be able to see the cape. I wonder if that's a small little bug. Hmm, I'm not sure. Elra, if you're watching, have I broken the game already? Let us know, perhaps. Now, what's this over here? You've got yourself... Oh, wow. I'm going to go and stand next to him and see if we can get a screenshot next to... There we go. Mini Regulos. That's very, very cool. Now, remind us again, for those who haven't played through this content, where do you find Regulos normally? Well, Regulos, we haven't actually gotten a really good chance to have much to do with, but he is the big bad dragon in the world. That's right. So, of course, this is a mini version of it. Looks very, very cool. So you got that by getting the digital collector's edition, right? Yep, I got that. I also got this mount, although I'm wondering if it's going to appear for you. No. Are you on a mount now? Yep. Well, that's interesting. You you know what? It's going to be funny when you see this episode because on our screen, you're just standing on the ground as normal. Are you mounted right now? Mm-hmm. Wow. No, it's just, you just look normal. You just look like you're standing there and jumping in the air. Okay, so that's very interesting because, look, I must say in most games, you know, when somebody has content from an expansion that you don't have, you can still see it. And so I must admit I find it a little bit weird that just because I don't own the expansion yet, and I'm glad that we did this experiment, I'm seeing your cape again as basically a black square and I can't see your mount. Now I wonder if that's intended or I wonder if we've discovered some kind of bug or maybe it's already on the forums, I'm not sure, but again, maybe Elra or Dead Simon could let us know or is it just me? Is it my bad luck? Or maybe it's Reggie. Maybe Reggie the Witch is extending her magics all the way from Guild Wars 2 over to here and she's playing with me. I'm not sure. But that's very interesting, Tallahassee. You would Don't expect... Don't Reggie for that. Well, you'd expect that I would still be able to see this stuff even though I can't own it. Or am I being unrealistic there? Um, no, I would have expected that you'd be able to see it because of the massive patch that we had to download. That's right, and I had to take part in that, that's for sure. Hang on, okay, I've got another idea. If you're mounted right now, are you still mounted? Yeah. Okay, so, hang on, if we just run... Can we run together? Oh, I was going to say, yeah. surely you would be running far. You are. All I can see is your character running at mounted speed. So that looks very, very <laughs> strange. Um, it's bizarre. That's funny. Wow. Well, look, are you able to describe perhaps what your mount is, even though we can't see it here? We're going to put your imagination to the test. What is it? Is it a horse? Is it a dragon? Is it a panda? What is it? It's definitely not a horse. <laughs> um, it's... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. Um, what, is it that different? Think, Yeah, no, it's really, really different. Um, actually, you remember the mount that Elra used? Oh, well, he transported us thing? away? I remember that. The weird, creepy-looking one. It looked like a cross between yeah. a spider and a, I don't know, a reptile or something. That one, is that the one you've got? Yep. Oh. It's pretty. That's it's very nice. really pretty. Well, again, that's weird that I could see Elra. Maybe it's just you. 
Maybe the game knows that you don't like me and it's denying me the privilege of seeing everything. Who knows? That's very bizarre. Well, look, let us know in the comments below, folks, if you're playing along currently and you don't have the expansion, and by the way, you probably need to remedy that just like me, do you see these things that are Storm Legion specific on other characters? Or is it just me and my bad luck? I guess we'll find out. Oh, well, never mind. Hopefully next time we log in Tallahassee when I've got mine all sorted out, we'll be able to check out all of that stuff. Now, by the way, before we carry on up north and go and do these quests here, going to Sanctuary and going to Whiteform, I do believe you're organising something just a little bit special for next week's episode, yeah? I am, but do we really want to let the cat out of the bag? Hmm, I guess not. Maybe we'll keep things in suspense. All right, just know that Tallahassee is definitely scheming behind the scenes and you probably won't want to miss next week's episode, that's for sure. All right, well, I'm going to assume that you're mounted up. Like I say, I can't tell, but you're running awfully fast. So do you know what? It looks hilarious because you're scooting over the ground at mounted speed and you look like you're just running. So that's pretty funny. In fact, yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping up with you. That's amazing. Still, even though I That's can't see really those funny. things, I can still see everything else here in the game. And of course, it is epically beautiful and amazing as always. Hey, I was able to jump over the fence there. I've never tried that before. Very cool. Now, I'm just going to talk to this healer because I've got a funny feeling that I'm probably going to need mending. Yes, just as well I did. Look at that. I needed to spend seven gold. Whoopsie. And it looks like I need to go and sell off my junk as well. And let's see. She's not going to be the person before I hand in because no doubt she'll have a quest of some sort. Do we have any vendors down here in Sanctuary? I don't think we do. Oh, okay. Well, look. I'll just have a quick chat to her just in case she doesn't have a prize for us. A reward. There we go. Actually, she didn't, so that was lucky. Quest complete. There we go. You can see I'm 15% of the way through a level 43. Oh, what's this? Marshall Kane's Field Journal. How did you loot that? I saw it in chat. Come with me. Oh, okay. All right. So, over here. Yep. Over I here, you'll see something sparkling. I did see that. I just thought it was an art. Is it an artifact or something, or is it a book? It's a book for you to, you know, collect and read. Aha! Uh -huh. I know okay. that you're a big reader. Yeah, that's right. I am a big reader. Yes, maybe not. Okay. Yes, one item binding. Yep, there we go. So I right click on that book. You know what? We haven't collected book. This reminds me of the very, very early days back in the day when we were first playing the game in that village outside of the starting area and we discovered that you could collect books and I know that we were honing in on those kind of um, haven't collected any for a while I've got to keep up that all right so there we go all handed in now where do we need to go oh, are you back on your mount I can tell because you're running at such great speed let's try that again there we go gosh that looks weird seriously <laughs> it looks so funny <laughs> look would you look like me to get another mount for you well, no, it's kind of funny. I guess we might as well make the most of it because no doubt if it is an error, knowing Tryon Worlds, it'll be patched so very, very quickly that we may not see it again. So that's kind of funny. All right, there we go. Selling off our grey items. And let's see. Cloudborn. I've got two Cloudborn Ice Necklaces. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that one. One of them's a quest item. That's okay. Uh, mana potion gonna get rid of that one get rid of that one gonna get, actually get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that I never ever use see all these ones that do damage I just never use them in combat Tallahassee so I'm just gonna sell them off is that bad um it's not really great but it's better you better than really be trying to use them yeah but it's better than having no bags though isn't it mm, I guess mildly Enjoy. he says mildly so I know, it's frustrating. Simon's it? going to be annoyed. Simon will be. What's that? Veterans Vial. Mana Potion. No, I don't need that Mana Pot. All right, well, look, at Keep least... the Veterans Vial. Hang on, I'm just going to auto-sort my bags. Ah, no, that's better. All right, do you know what? I can't believe I've never used the auto-sort. But, oh, wait a minute. Is auto-sort new in the expansion? No. Okay, so that's always been there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Drinking that. Uh, yep, yep, restores health. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Do an auto sort again. All right, I now have lots and lots of bag space. You're going to be very, the very proud of me. All right, so someday. where's the next hand? And should be just around. Oh, right behind me. Here we go. Fel Hellman, it's what have you got to say? Day. Oh, and another Cloudborn Ice Necklace. What is this? That's the third one I've received. 
That's very strange. They really like them. Yeah, but that's weird. All these weird things are happening to me tonight. All right, what does he want us to do next? He wants us to locate the missing survival gear and deliver it to Neslin Veris at Red Gold Claim. Let's Good accept luck. that. Have a look at the map, as always, and it looks like... Oh, okay, so he's sending us out to the west. I guess that's where we're headed next. So are there no more handins around here, are there? There are no more handins around here, but we do need to go back to Sanctum. That way we can get transported by aliens out to here. Ah, look where he's pointing. Now, we, we spoke about this last time. I'm going to... There we go. All the way down. So you're saying, even though... I'm going to zoom out again. Even though we haven't finished uh, exploring Iron Pine Peak, you do want to take us all the way down to Droughtlands. That's, that's meant to happen, right? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, we can do this quest out here first. So the one that's actually there... Oh, yeah. First. Right. And then we'll finish the episode off by going here. All right. So it's a bit. Okay. That's it's actually sort of kind of a lead cool. in for next week. Yeah. That's a great idea, actually, because you know what? You can tell, folks, we've not unlocked any of the Droughtlands. In fact, that means we haven't been there at all. So if you ask me, that sounds like a very, very good plan. So, Westward Ho, it is. I'm following you on your weird, freaky, deaky, non existent alien mount with your cape. It's it. Oh. It's like you're some kind of bizarre superhero in Rift. You know, with the cape, with the running speed that's the same as our mounts. Maybe maybe you are super Tallahassee, perhaps. Maybe this expansion... Well, this means you can see regulars. Well, yeah. Well, maybe the expansion actually granted you weird powers. I don't know. I'm still kind of... I think it's bizarre that I can't see the expansion content. I really, really do. That's very, very strange. I'm very keen, again, to hear from you guys watching along from home and see if you can have a bit of an experiment and see if you can get the same thing happening. Oh, can we not get up there? Uh, maybe. Oh, you yes. did. You got up. Oh, except, oh, look, I got knocked off, knocked all the way down, and I'm now fighting a, what is it, a Dark Snarl Terror. Great. Oh, well. It's alright, I got it. Oh, you did too. You know, just as I popped my big, my big DPS thing, and I didn't need it in the end. Alright, so how did you get up here? Let's see. Did you go up here? No. Are we kind of cheating a little bit? Well, not really. <laughs> I guess it's not oh, cheating yeah. if we can get up. Well, how come I can't get up? Hang on, I'm just trying, trying, All trying. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I've heard. I've heard there's, you know, nasal spray for that. <laughs> Try Hang getting on. on your mount and... Yeah, there up. we go. Definitely there made a go. difference. And have a look what's in the way. Yetis. Oh, you... Oh, you, oh God, no! Not Yetis! Oh, is that actually around our quest area, though? Or is that you? Yep. Oh, is it? So it's not you deliberately leading us in this direction. <laughs> it's not me deliberately leading you guys in this direction. That was legitimately it. I can't believe it. I thought we'd done with Yetis. Mind you, you did say that they're everywhere in this zone, right? Uh, yeah, very much so. Everywhere in this zone. All right, there we go. Good Lord. Okay, so I've got... Oh, got some loot there. What's that? Tempest Mirror and Planar right. Okay, fine. So where's our quest objective around here? Right up here. Is it that guy there? Missing courier. Oh, look at that. Just as well you discovered it. I would have missed it. Collect the survival gear. Yes, all done. Right, so is that all? Do we just have to go back to base now? Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Done. Oh, now I can see you on a mount. Back on your normal mount, your fiery horse. Wait a minute. Yep. Fiery horse isn't a a fast speed mount, I thought. Oh, no, it um, goes to whatever your fastest mount speed is. Oh, so I could... Okay, I've been riding this cat because I thought it was the only mount that did that high speed. So I can be... Oh, I didn't know that. Right, I'm going to summon my flaming horse in the future. Now you tell me. Now you tell me. I didn't know that we the mount scaled. Mm. Whoopsie. Because I know, well, actually, the other... You could have read the tooltip for it. Well, there is that. But our other things like the chestnut horse and the, um, you know, what is it? The the turtle and all that sort of stuff. The Yarnasaur. Yeah, the Yarnasaur. They don't actually scale, though, do they? No. No. Okay. All right, so where's our hand in? Can't even see it. Our hand in is all the way back over there. Wait a minute, let's have a look. Oh, what? So do we run all the way here, and yet we have to hand in back there? Yeah, but that'll take us through to a new quest hub. Oh, so we deliberately... But... Okay, there we go. So now we're going to Sanctum, I guess, so that we can go on to the Droughtlands, is that right? Well met. 
That's right. All right, there we go. There is method to the madness. Sanctum, there we go. Now, I'm very curious, ever since you mentioned it a couple of episodes ago, you guys might remember Tallahassee was dropping some hints, and he was saying, don't worry, it's not a long journey to get to the Droughtlands, because I was saying that is absolutely miles away. That's the furthest that we would have ever travelled in the entire game since we started our series. And you said we may or may not be getting transported by aliens. So I'm very, very, very keen to figure out how on earth we get there can i do have one question once we get there will it unlock a particulum like will we will there be a particulum nearby that we can use so we can legitimately get there again yeah there is oh cool cool okay all right okay, so i need what, you to mount up all right i see i have no idea what's going oh hang on where's my flaming horse ember steed there we go let's get it as well so you've got a lot of explaining to do what is all this about aliens there are no aliens in rift are there well, no, but I'll, it's a reference to a show on the History Channel. Right? Really? God, I wish I could remember the guy's name. Yeah. Oh, God. All, all that he says is when there is a funny occurrence, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it oh, was aliens. I see. I see what you're saying. Now. Right. So I was taking you just a bit too literally, perhaps? <laughs> yep. Now, do you have a quest from poor Tom? Well, he's got a greyed out question mark above his head and yeah, when I right click on him, it doesn't do anything. Okay, can you check your quest log and see if you have a quest called Things Come? Okay, let's have a look. Um, Things to Come. Yes, I do. The Fall of Lantern Hook, Things to Come. Yep, perfect. Okay. All right, the plot thickens, folks. What on earth is Tallahassee up to? And oh my God, doesn't Sanctum still look absolutely gorgeous? Gosh, this game is amazing. Oh, I love it. Well, do you know what? Sanctum's always changing up, isn't it, Tallahassee? Every time we come here, there's some, like this whole courtyard area is either it's, it's chocker full of events for a festival or in this case, there's a whole bunch of red people there. There's, look, we've got a portal there this time, a portal master. I love the way it always is changing up. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally mm, confused at this point. You realise that, right? Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much how you go through life anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, what's this? The okay. Fortuna. Can you speak to Fortuna? Okay, let's right-click on them. Not every Southern scholar is a defiant follower of Orpheal. The Arcane Hand is a conclave of mages from the dry savannah known as... Oh! known as Droughtlands, who seek to learn from the catastrophic mistakes of the fallen Eth. Interesting. Hang on. Are you prepared to teleport? Okay, can I click on that? Yep. All right. Are you prepared for your journey? I am sending you to Hamid Altieri, the particular master of... Oh, there you go. Tallahassee was right on the button there. The particular master of Lantern Hook. The magic of Porticulums should connect our people and allow us to ally against the dragons and their minions. Wait a second. Is this a defiant person, Tallahassee? It's all starting to come together. Is it? Tell me, are they defiant? She's an ambassador of the hand. Okay, there you go. You're right. Arcane Hand Ambassador. Okay, so this is getting very interesting all of a sudden. All right, well, she's saying that the ritual is prepared. Are you? So are we ready to teleport to the Droughtlands? This sounds very exciting. I am. I have my cantina with me. So let's rock and roll. <laughs> cantina, drought, right. Okay, here we go. Teleport me to the Droughtlands. There we go. Oh, look at that. She's doing a casting animation. Gosh, it's no ordinary teleport, is it? Somehow I feel like I should get off my mount. Oh, too late. What's happening? Oh, look at this. Droughtlands. The Droughtlands were ravaged by the same cataclysmic blast that destroyed the ancient empire of F. Very interesting. And again, folks, this is the very first time that you will have seen this on our Let's Play series. We have never, never been here before. And there we go. Let's have a bit of a look around. And okay, it, it's definitely drought ridden, isn't it? Now, you've been here before, obviously, on other characters, right? Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah, no, to... this is actually a really fun place to be. All right, well, I'm looking at the map here. Here we go, Lantern Hook. That's where we are, and I get... Look, do I need to talk to a particular... Oh, I guess it's part of the quest, is it? Here we go. Fortuna Kusani sent you. You are one of those holy guardians from up north. Well, we are grateful for your help. No end to the problems in Droughtlands. A woman like you could really help. 
there we go now I'm just gonna click on them do I have to talk to them anymore I don't do I, I mean surely that's opened in fact hang on no. I'm, I'm gonna say enter the port and particulum and oh okay so is it only showing my destination ones that is that why there's no green dot in the droughtlands so in other words if I was back in Whitefall would the droughtlands show up now on my travel map yep okay all right that's Probably good to know. well to that's one way of getting here good lord okay so I mean, look, we're running out of time, but how do we know where we need to go now? Oh, is there a quest marker? Yes, there is. Ooh. So it kind of looks like, kind of looks like the old Wild West a bit, Tallahassee, or is that, is that right? It's very, very well, desertish. I don't know about, I don't know about that, but you know what zone it reminds me of? What's, oh, hang on, yes, um, Silithus, perhaps? No, I was going to say a slightly different zone. Um, it oh. wasn't one that was very popular. Oh, 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 hang on. It's um the one that they've completely redone, because I'm, I'm thinking you're thinking WoW. The one that had... Oh, Desolus. Is that the one? Uh, that's the one, but it's very different from Desolus, because there's actually things here. Yeah, right. Well, look, fortunately... Oh, in fact, there's even centaurs here, like Desolus. Funny you should say that. Actually, I love... This is very cool. Yep. I love this zone. Look at that. We've got... This is, just makes such a difference from the snow, doesn't it? Amazing. Look at that. A fire rift as well. Oh, this is so, so cool. There's another player there. Now, we are running out of time folks but that's okay we'll just make our way to this quest and then we'll sign off and this is really cool because I assume we're going to be doing a little bit of questing in this new zone are we I mean well hang on before you even say that are we going to be heading back to Iron Pine Peak eventually we will because oh. we have to okay that's all right then I, I, typical me I'm getting stuck on bridges getting dismounted left right and center that would be right what they're getting stuck on yeah, I couldn't even get up on the bridge. That's how terribly hopeless I am. Dear, oh dear. Bad okay, stuff. Hey, now. hey, I can see your cape mm -hmm. now. I can see your cape. It's okay. red, red and gold. Don't suppose we can see your mount now, can we? That's a, that's a very cool cape. It's, it's red, royal red with gold lattice work on it, kind of. And no, we still can't see your mount. <laughs> but the cape is there. That's very bizarre, isn't it? Maybe it's all slowly streaming in. But I've, I've fully patched. So you'd think it would all be there. Oh well, never mind. I don't know. It's just all round general weirdness, I guess. I'm sure there's a technical explanation, but... Yep. And it's probably something to do with me. It's probably my fault somehow. Yep, I'd go with that. Yep. Alright, where's our okay, quest yeah. marker? Should we mount up again? It's actually above us. Oh, so... is it? Whoa, look at this stuff. I'm just trying to remember how to get up there. That's the oh, problem. really? Yeah, there's a particular way up. Alright, let's have a look on the map. And I think it's actually... It's the other way. It's on the other side, so... Should we mount up? Uh, we'll just... No, we'll just pull everything on the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, folks, this is stereotypical Tallahassee. He likes having lots and lots of friends. Lots and lots of friends. This is real. <laughs> exactly. Now, if I lost my... Oh, there's my pet. My pet's actually over there. There you go. You can see it firing things. Mind you, we're chewing through these guys, aren't we? What are they, level 41? So they're kind of our level, a little bit. But I guess we're... Just, no, just, not really. Just a fraction overpowered, aren't we? Just a touch. Yeah. Okay, now if we can burn these guys down nice and quick. Yep. That'll be nice. Because this build doesn't have a whole heap of self heals anymore. Oh yeah, of course. You know, fortunately we've Thanks, got lots guys. of DPS. So are we basically going, are we following up these torches are we? Okay. So I'm taking a drink. No worries. Wow, I can tell that we're going to get a good view from up here. Look at that. Do you know, oh, wow, look at that Mesa over there. Okay, yeah, I think you're you're definitely right. It is very much like Desolus, although, well, I mean, it's a different setting, but it, it's got reminders of Desolus, I guess, perhaps. It Desolate place. It's just little things about this place as well. Yeah. No, I don't believe it's anywhere here. I think it's actually above us that we have to go. What, above us even more? 
Yeah. Good lord. Well, look, you know what? We may have to leave it as a cliffhanger. We'll round up this bunch here and see if we can burn them down. We may have to wait till next week because we've completely run out of time in our episode now, folks. But that's okay. We'll be able to find out what is at the top of this group of rocks here. Gosh, how much higher? Look, well, there's definitely, we can definitely go higher. There's no doubt about it. And find out what on earth is going... Is this going to lead on to a series of quests around here, though? Whoa. Um, it shouldn't. That, that was a big knockback, by the way. Did you get that? That was huge. I certainly did. Oh, well, there we go. All right, let's see if we can get a nice view out here to sign off on. There's one more mob we can probably get rid of. This is a huge zone. I've got my draw distance up full now, of course, having my fancy new graphics card, which I'm very happy about. And that view out there just goes on forever and ever and ever. I can see so far out into the distance. It is absolutely ludicrous. In fact, look at that. We're seeing right across this zone. Absolutely amazing. In fact, we're looking all the way back up to Scarlet Gorge and Iron Pine Peak out in that direction what an amazing game anyhow folks there you go certainly hope you enjoyed that episode a change of pace for us a change of scenery and of course more to come in the next episode although i know that we are hopefully going to be having something special lined up here by tallahassee so definitely don't miss next week's one and who knows maybe maybe next week i'll actually be able to see your mount there but like i say we can actually see your cloak now so that's at least something i don't know again folks let me know if that's happened to you in the comments below but in the meantime we need to get out of here on behalf of myself sambo seraphis and of course tallahassee it's us saying take care hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye